In today's video, we're going to take a look at reclaiming a proportion of VAT in zero. So first of all, why would you be reclaiming only a proportion of your VAT? So if we refer to HMRC's website, which is always a good place to go to, we can see that you're able to reclaim VAT on goods and services purchased for use in your business. But what happens, sometimes you might purchase something and it's not fully for business use. So for an example, you might have a telephone bill and there's a percentage, let's say 20% that's personal use. So in that case, you would only be able to claim 80% of the VAT. Another example, and this is the one that we're going to look at, is when you lease a vehicle. If you have an operating lease, so it's not a vehicle that you own, it's a vehicle that you're hiring, if there is personal use, HMRC allows you to reclaim 50% of the VAT. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into zero and we're going to look at how that works. But before we do, it would be great if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. Your support is what encourages me to keep going with the channel. Okay, let's head into zero and take a look at reclaiming a proportion of VAT. We are on the zero dashboard and we can see that we've got one bank transaction to reconcile. Let's choose that. And when we do, we can see that the Discuss tab has been used. So the reason this transaction has been left is somebody has been doing the bank reconciliation in zero, but they didn't know how to deal with this transaction. So it's quite a good way to use the Discuss tab if you just want to put a note. So the note says, what I need to do is only reclaim 50% of the VAT on this transaction. And this is a car lease. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a bank transaction. Now, if you had a bill, you could possibly be inputting the bill. We're just going to record the bank payments. I'm going to say create. I'm going to enter matrix car leasing as my contact because I've not done that before. It's going to say it's new. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose the add details which just gives me a bigger screen for inputting the information. And I want that because I need more than one line. So the payment is to matrix car leasing. The date is fed in from the bank, the reference. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull in an invoice. Now you might not have a monthly invoice for a car lease. You might just have an agreement, but we're lucky. And if I go to my file library and if I choose car lease, you can see that it's here. So here's my invoice for the month. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to add it. So that's just adding back up to zero. So now we know that we can only claim half of the VAT and this is what we need to do. So first of all, we're going to find an account and I'm going to search and I'm going to search for motor vehicle lease and you'll see I've actually set up a new code so it's clear where I want this to be coded to. You might want to use motor vehicle expenses but I think it's going to be a lot clearer if we've got a separate code. So I have set that up already in the chart of accounts. Now you'll see what happens here. The full amount is 240. It says in zero that this is tax inclusive. So zero is going to say okay you're going to reclaim 20% VAT, but we know we can't do that. We can only reclaim half of it. So what I'm going to do instead is on this line, I'm going to put half, which is 120, and there's the VAT, the only amount we can reclaim, which is 20 pounds. I'm going to add a further line, very similar to the one above, another 120 pounds, still, car leasing, but this time I need to change this because I cannot reclaim any VAT. So I'm going to choose zero rated and that is all that I need to do. So just looking at the two lines, we've split the total 50-50. Line number one, we're reclaiming the VAT 20%. Line number two, 
we're entering a zero rated expenses. Now there might be an argument, some people will say I would enter that as no VAT. I'm not going to get into that argument, but I would choose zero rated. I've attached the backup and I can now simply save my transaction and I'm only reclaiming 50% of the VAT on that payment. And I choose reconcile and that's my transaction entered. So if we went to our profit and loss account, let me just show you very quickly. If we scroll down to motor vehicle lease, we can see that the cost is 220. So half of it, the cost is 100 because we're reclaiming the VAT and the other half of it, the cost includes the VAT 120. So the cost to the business for the lease in the month is 220 pounds. And if we go back to the dashboard, we just choose our current account. Here we can see the transaction. £240 split 50-50, reclaiming 50% 50 of the VAT. I hope that you find the video useful. If you haven't done so already, remember to like and subscribe. I'll be back soon with another video, but until then, happy zeroing.